so dear friends welcome at uh, my today's uh, video is in english because uh, this is a part of uh, uh, a project i am doing and uh, the part of an assignment uh, i am doing uh, the topic for today is that uh, as a citizen how would you react uh, to an attempt uh, to delete the theory of evolution from the curriculum and uh, that is a compelling question for today Uh, because we have seen in past that in pakistan the curriculum has been uh, uh, changed with an attempt to make uh, the students of pakistan more patriotic or uh, you can say that uh, um, we have uh, actually tried to change the parts of curriculum and made make it more islamic or uh, uh, to distort the history in terms of india in terms of our neighbors so we have tried to teach our version to our students so what do you think that uh, is it a right thing to do or not because in turkey recently uh, we have seen that uh, uh, rajab tayyeb erdogan the president of turkey has also tried to uh, change the part of curriculum and he has uh, uh, removed the part of uh, the history that came from the uh, period of kamal ataturk and uh, he has tried to change the essence of the curriculum with the logic that uh, the students in turkey he thinks are not capable enough to understand the real history so they have removed the uh, part of the curriculum that they think is not in line with his own agenda in pakistan we did it uh, in the zia era we did it and then later on we found a repeated attempts to change the curriculum in pakistan and especially we tried to Uh, inculcate and push uh, our own national agendas into the curriculum and not the facts actually and uh, because of this we can see that uh, today our students are not capable enough to uh, compete and uh, they are not capable to show the uh, the competence they should have as an uh, as an educated individuals and what uh, they think and what they say or their logics are totally dependent on the textbooks which they have been reading in their school era so this is a question for today that what do you think that shall as a country we distort the history in the curriculum or not shall we teach the students our own agendas or not shall we teach them the truth or shall we teach them our own national agenda so this is the this is very important question and this is the uh, topic of our debate today we can see that uh, since zia era when the uh, the changes uh, in our curriculum were brought to uh, to create more jihadis and to create uh, more fighters for the war in afghanistan we we could see that uh, all of the secular and uh, liberal uh, thoughts and discussions from our curriculum were removed and it was uh, and the quranic verses about jihad and um, and uh, hadith about jihad were actually inculcated into the curriculum not because uh, to uh, it was a it was not a honest change but it was a change because we wanted to Uh, we wanted to actually uh, make a, a whole group a lot of the uh, of the students who would actually fight for us in afghanistan and uh, since last 30 or 35 years uh, we have been seeing this rise in uh, in in fighting and this all this uh, turmoil in our region and that is because um, we have made a whole generation of the students who are ready to fight and they are not ready to actually compromise or not ready to negotiate and they have they have no other option than to fight and that is because we change the curriculum we change the curriculum to support uh, the um, war in afghanistan the american war and we we actually try to uh, make it an islamic uh, you know agenda to fight in afghanistan and that is why we removed all of the secular and liberal thoughts from our curriculum and inculcated the uh, the jihadis and uh, other uh, you know uh, verses in in our curriculum not because we loved islam but because we wanted to facilitate and we wanted to actually impact and uh, change the mindset of our students so that no one will object our national strategy to fight in afghanistan 
uh, as an ally of America. But um, after changing this curriculum, uh, a, a major problem arose and that problem we are facing today is that in our every town and district and in our every city, we can see that although our army has controlled things a lot, but we can see that uh, uh, today uh, we have lost 70,000 lives almost, uh, including the civilian and uh, the uh, forces. So these 70,000 lives we have lost are actually a result and an outcome of the change in curriculum which came in the ZR regime. So we distorted the history for our own interest. We taught the students what we wanted them to teach and the result is in front of us that we have a whole generation which is uh, extremist, not ready to accept the diversity, not ready to accept the minorities, not ready to accept the opposite opinion and uh, the only solution they have if you have a difference of opinion, if you don't uh, agree to someone, to either they will you know mask you or paint you as an enemy of Islam or otherwise they will say that uh, you are uh, not patriotic or uh, if you will go beyond some red lines, you know, you can even get killed. So this is the problem with our curriculum because in our schools, uh, we are teaching the students a curriculum which is not actually true. We are teaching the students a history which is not actually true, but it is actually our own agenda. And now rapidly when we have seen the outcomes, now we can see that the Pakistani nation and the government is trying rapidly to change the curriculum and to reverse the curriculum to its old state and that is why a recent debate has actually emerged and you have seen that debate on many TV channels that people are saying that government is removing some Islamic lines or Islamic verses from the curriculum or government is changing the curriculum in their own uh, uh, interest and uh, uh, people in the Islamic uh, religious parties are actually protesting and they're saying that the government is uh, actually getting liberal and secular and they are removing the Islamic verses from the curriculum. So actually I think that this is because of the greater acceptance in, the, uh, in our establishment and in our, um, in our government that they have felt that the change they brought uh, uh, in the curriculum and is actually affecting them, affecting them adversely and uh, they have created a, a mismatched generation which is incapable to understand the needs of today so because of this that the reverse change is coming what Turkey is doing today Pakistan did 40 years ago what Turkey is doing today Pakistan tried it way before but the results were fatal we actually not only lost our national fiber we actually didn't uh, we actually lost our national integrity we lost our unity we became more prone to terrorism we became more prone to uh, to the uh, to the things that actually do not represent us and uh, that is why in the community of the nations pakistan is no more respected and that is why more pressure is coming on us and recent trump speech is actually uh, uh, mm, you can say that uh, the trump uh, what he said recently is actually because what we have did in last 40 years although we have changed our agenda now since last uh, almost 10 years our army is going to um, uh, taking all possible steps to reverse what has been done in past but uh, uh, it is not uh, an easy job to do the fault uh, which we managed and which we prepared in our generation for the last 30 years it will take more time to reverse that fault but for that a lot of resistance will come a lot of challenges will come and as a nation we shall understand that uh, teaching distorted history to the curriculum to the students and teaching distorted facts to the students will not help us and it will not uh, help our students and uh, even the world to uh, create a community or to create a nation that is uh, global that is ready to accept diversity that is ready to face the change that is ready to uh, uh, harmonize the society that is ready to accept the minorities as an uh, as an equal part of the society that is ready to uh, accept the difference of opinion as a beauty we will uh, we have we have failed because of this distorted curriculum and uh, what turkey is doing today is actually a start a start to failure because uh, you 
uh, you want to be an Islamic country, you are free. You want to be uh, uh, a, a liberal country, you are free. You, are, you want to be a secular country, you are free. You want to be a monarchy, you want to be a democracy, you want to be a uh, you want to be a have a presidential form of government or the parliamentary form of government. You are free. But whatever you want to be, it 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 shall be on the will of your your people and most importantly whatever you have done in past you must not hide that you must not uh, tell your students that you are like super guy or your your nation has been the superior of all or you have done nothing wrong in this world and only your enemies have done wrong so you shall first start by accepting your mistakes in the history and then you shall tell your students that this is this is the fact this is what we have did these were the consequences and now this is the way forward here we want to move ahead so i think that to make pakistan a better country and to make pakistan a country which can actually <coughs> uh, present itself as a fit country for the community of the nations of today we have to change our curriculum we have to include we have not exclude but include those things in our curriculum that can teach us harmony that can teach us love that can bring us united that can actually help us in understanding the differences that can actually uh, help us in understanding that uh, the life and uh, and uh, uh, opinion of the people are sacred and uh, you are not allowed in a civilized na nation to kill or to harm anybody because of his opposite thoughts or because of his opposite uh, or, uh, or different opinion so uh, I can see as a as an educationist when I see my curriculum I feel that uh, this is uh, a serious serious thing that uh, we shall ponder upon and until unless we will not make our curriculum true and until, unless we will not remove the distorted part of history which we have included in our curriculum as a truth which is not actually the case we cannot actually proceed and uh, we shall at any cost we if we want if we are serious to uh, to remove and to root out terrorism from our society the very first step which is needed and essential is to remove the uh, distorted history from our curriculum teach our students the truth and once we, you will teach them the truth you will find a lot of students from your generation who will stand by the truth and who will take this country forward and who will face and will be better able to debate and understand the faults of the past and will ensure that in the future there are no such faults that can actually harm us as a country so um, uh, by saying this i would expect that the government of pakistan while we are doing radul fasad and we have done zarbi azab in the past in fata and north uh, northern areas of pakistan we have tried to to root out terrorism and have killed a lot of terrorists in our northern part of the country but now at this stage i and i hope that our establishment our law enforcement agencies our government will do all efforts to change the curriculum in a way that uh, our next generation is not prepared as an extremist generation a generation which is not ready to accept change a nation which is not ready to accept diversity and we will be able to prepare a nation that is ready to live in the 21st century that is ready to accept that every country in this world is not muslim and that is ready to understand that every country in this world acts according to his his or her own benefits that is ready to understand that that there is no charity in this world uh, your friends are your friends because they have uh, mutual benefits from you you uh, and uh, your enemies are your enemies because being your enemy is what gives them more power and benefit so in this world the truth must prevail and this truth shall be a part of our curriculum and i hope that pakistan as a country will be able to change the curriculum in the lines that it was before the Zia regime and we will we will be able to uh, make a curriculum that will make Pakistan and and a forward-looking country which is 
uh, a good and equal equally acceptable country for minorities which is equally acceptable countries for people having opposite opinion opposite sects and uh, opposite nationalities and uh, um, and of course the provinces so to uh, to be united let us accept that we have differences so once we will have uh, ac that acceptance at a wider scale i am sure that we can find the common grounds to be united thank you very much for watching and do post your comments what do you think uh, my question for today was that how would you react to an attempt to delete the theory of evolution from the national curriculum so that's all from me thank you very much bye bye